Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning into My Classic Car, home of the Certified Car Nut. Well, this week we're in Abbotsford, British Columbia to visit Don Voth and check out a couple of his hot rod pickups. We're talking a 37 Hudson Terraplane and a 49 GMC. But these aren't just any 37 Hudson Terraplane and 49 GMC. These are both Chip Foos designs, and that makes all the difference. Feast your eyes and focus on the detail. Don, how you doing today, man? Doing good. Beautiful day in BC. Beautiful, sunny, warm, and all that good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Can't beat it. And a couple actually downright hot pickups here. Both uh, Chip Foose influenced. Very much so. Even more an influence, I guess, yeah. Very much so. Well, let's start with this extremely radical. I, I love these terraplanes, and they are so rare. This is what, a 37 terraplane, right? 37 terraplane, and we tried to buy it one year at an auction. We were not successful, so we bought it uh, the next year when mm. it was a little less. When things looked a little better, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, had it, I mean, had it already been worked on at that point? Was there it already been, a street ride? There had been some work done, and uh, but the overall structure of it was really appealing to us. We felt with some refinement, uh, we could make an excellent show winner out of it. Oh, yeah. It, 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 it's stunning. Now, I don't, I don't remember, uh, I mean, the Hudsons didn't have this, this ridge on the fenders, did it? No, they didn't. No. So that was added. So and that that was a real part of the refinement was adding the ridge here on the fenders and, as well and as up on here the roof. Because that was that wasn't there either. No, eh? that's wow. right. And and you know those are really subtle touches, but man, it, it really makes a huge difference in the truck. Very much so. It really lightened it up mm -hmm. and uh, kept the meanness uh, part of it as well. <laughs> lightened it up without making it. You know, unmean. <laughs> you got to keep it gnarly. That's right. Well, now how about the headlight buckets? Are those 37 terraplanes? Uh, yes, they are, but they were uh, up here, mounted up much higher beside the grill at the top. Oh, and uh -huh. uh, Chip thought it might be uh, so more appropriate to melt them into the fender and grill idea. Oh, it looks, it looks great. And of course, I mean, the terraplane is really all about this fabulous mm -hmm. grill. Mm -hmm. And is that the original grill or is that a remake? Well, that's the original grill. I think we could have remade it uh, four or five times with the time that went into it, but uh, we refinished it and it came out real well. Blue flames though, who, do, who does blue flames? This, that just looks great on this truck. Well, that was Chip's idea and he's uh, a real fan of the uh, real real fire, mm -hmm. not the fakey bakey right. fire uh, flames as such, so uh, this was of his making. Wow. And how about the running boards? They're, they're sculpted in. They, they were originally straight, weren't they? They originally were straight, ran from fender to fender, and he sculpted them and uh, put some stainless steel uh, highlight strips into it. Kind of uh, pinches it a little bit at the uh, waist that's there. That's right. Gives it... Oh, and, and of course, your cutouts for your exhaust coming through the running board. Yeah, the three-inch exhaust, we had to do something with that, so we <laughs> decided to show it off. Where, where are we going to put that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's, right. and it's cut in so well. And again, I mean... All of Chip's work. I just love his stuff. The interior is, is, is another great example. Chip is very much uh, a, a less is more guy and it's always so clean. Mm -hmm. Interesting gauges. Yeah, the gauges, uh, Classic uh, made up the gauges and put the Foos name in the backdrop to each each gauge. So and it the, came out pretty really well. Yeah, and the numbers, they actually float out on the mm -hmm. lens, don't they? Oh, mm -hmm. I love that. Man. Mm -hmm. Boy, you got a lot of adjustment on those seats. If you can't find a comfortable position, there's just there's something wrong with it. Oh, there's lots of buttons. <laughs> wow, and, and now you've also, I mean, the the cab doesn't look, the cab looks longer to me. Or what? What's it? Yeah, what happened is the original, the, the box is quite long, the cab is quite short, so the cab was lengthened seven inches, and the box was shortened seven inches to give it the overall length what it in fact was it just, just reproportioned it divvied it up differently yeah. Yeah. love your uh, box back here with flame stitching <laughs> yeah we looked around for a long time until we found someone that could do that but it's quite an undertaking to uh, to, to create a flame with thread yeah and the different uh, color variations etc that's very cool I, I love it and you've obviously done some tubbing work here yeah, we had uh, the idea that uh, true to the character of the truck that we'd go with the uh, Mickey Thompson SRTs, got an 18 inch tread, which meant tubbing some of the um, pickup bed itself. Man, now back here, am I looking at a Tri-5 bumper there? It's You're a... looking at a 55 Chevy Nomad bumper that was uh, reshaped for the back of the truck, but it came off fairly well. Now I see a, you know, a, a little blower peeking out under there. You got this savage uh, rear end, these, these huge tires. You must have something matched under the hood. Yeah, we had to, uh, 
pay homage to the truck and what it's all about, and we decided to uh, put in uh, 900 horsepower to uh, kind of back it up. <laughs> Let's go look at that. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. So what we got, Dennis, is we got a 454. Nice big thick walls for all the air that that blower provides. We've got about 13 and a half pounds of air coming through that blower. It's a Hampton 871 and uh, two 750 CFM Hollies. Man, well, you know, I'm really surprised actually how big it is because you just got the blower peeking out. You've really got mm -hmm. that baby buried down in the engine bay. Yeah, we worked out the whole profile of it that that uh, scoop didn't get too carried away on us, and so we just had a just peek above the hood itself. It is a truck that, it's not just a show pony, uh, it, 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 you can actually drive this. It's a driver, well not a driver, but it is drivable, right? It very much so. Uh, my wife doesn't pick up the groceries with it, <laughs> but Bye. I drive it on the weekends and it's great. Uh, you suppose uh, we could take it out today and maybe I could even take yeah, a little time behind the wheel? What do you think? I think we could arrange you for that. Yeah. You, know, you know the guy that I owns it? I know the guy thing? that owns it, yeah. <laughs> well, close it up, let's take this baby out. All right. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Sound though, Don. <laughs> hey, and you got headroom in here. Yeah, oh yeah. You got a chop top with headroom. We took the seats and took the rails off of them and set them right down. Now, what did these seats come out of? Or are they custom? Uh, they came out of a Pontiac Grand Prix, actually. Really? Yeah. And I like the fact they can actually see over the blower. Mm hmm. You know, when you take this someplace, is it a complete showstopper? You know, it is a showstopper wherever you go. I mean, we take it in for a, to a drive-in or for an evening of dinner or something like that, and it, there's always somebody there to ask you a zillion questions. Nobody knows what it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they're so rare. They're just, yeah. There just aren't many of them around. Yeah. And they only made them for a few years, and most of them are gone. Did you work on this, or did Chip work on this to get it from well, when you brought it, from when you first bought it to where it is now? Two years. Two years. Yep. Wow. You can really hear it, though, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> and the fuzzy dice. I mean, you gotta have the fuzzy. Gotta dice. have that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, for as, as vicious as it sounds, it drives in a very civilized way. Yeah, yeah it's very. Uh, got good manners and uh, way better than I used to have, I can tell you that. You can get in trouble with this. <laughs> we definitely can get in trouble. <laughs> well, the engine stays nice and cool. Yep. Uh, we had a bit of a problem with our electric fan. Yeah. That's the savior in the whole thing. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, that was a wild ride. <laughs> Very enjoyable. Very enjoyable. 900 horsepower, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> love that. You know, in a, in a 37 turplane. But now here's another hot rod pickup. Very nice, more understated. 49 GMC, right? That's correct. Now this is one that uh, is also Chip Foose influence, but it's another one that you bought as a as a rotted truck and then re-rotted it, right? Yeah, we reworked it. We felt it was a bit heavy on the front end. The mm -hmm. truck is is originally kind of heavy, and the hood sits up quite high. And so his idea was to create a rake on the truck and to lighten up the front end considerably. And uh, in so doing, we ended up pancaking the hood just about two inches wow. and reworking the grill work there, bringing the 49 GMC uh, grill back uh, into the car, to the truck itself and it turned out uh, much lighter in look. Now how about, I don't remember the GMC having this crease in the hood though. No, or... uh, no, he added the crease in the hood to give it a bit of profile yeah, through yeah. the windshield and up into the roof. And it almost, you know, it almost fades as it goes to the it hood does. and then picks back up on the roof. It just, does. Just gorgeous. And it's a, I mean, I love the color combination, you know, certainly black on top and then a deep candy red, right? That's correct. And a three-tone pinstripe. Yeah, he talked about that. He had us a bit worried about that, to be honest with you. <laughs> but it turned out really well, really, putting that bright green pinstripe. Yeah, it's just, it's fantastic. Because it's like really two different shades of orange and a green there. That's almost. right. Man. But the interior is nice. And this one, like you say, this was one you built to use, and you do use it, right? I mean, yeah, you we do. literally do get the groceries in this. We do on Saturdays. We wow. do. Wow. I love that. 
Interesting gauge choice. What's what is that? Yeah, it's of all things out of a '79 Camaro, if you can believe no, okay. that. You know, but I like that. It, mm -hmm. it uh, you know, everybody's got some set of you know trick mm -hmm. aftermarket gauges. This this makes it gives it a very factory look mm -hmm. and one that's hard to pinpoint. '79 yeah. Se Camaro. Camaro. Wow, yeah. unbelievable. <laughs> now you got a a chop on this too. Yeah, She's about a three inch top. And was that done, or did you have to redo that? No, that was done. Wow, you you actually settled for somebody else's chop. I can't yeah. believe it. Look good, <laughs> Don. You're getting soft in your old age. <laughs> <laughs> but here, uh, a lot of neat things back here. I like the. I just noticed this. The sculpting in uh, on the box there. Yeah, this bed is a real piece of work. It's uh, sculpted and contoured with uh -huh. the back of the cab and it just came off very well. Instead of squaring everything off, he mm. went with the flow that was there. Beautiful, and then of course, you know, that sculpting there picks up the roundedness mm -hmm. of the side here. And then this side rail, this kind of chip foo side rail that wraps around is, is, is fabulous. But what an interesting orientation here. What's the... Yeah, it's a bit unique. We, uh, we <laughs> grow seen. sweet bell peppers, which are red, yellow, orange, and uh, we pile them up for parades and we have our grandchildren sitting in the seats and they throw out to the crowd and uh, it works out very well. Gotta be a hit, right? It is. Yeah. <laughs> and the kids gotta love it too. They love it, yeah. Wow, Greenhouse Delight? Yeah, Greenhouse Delight is our uh, greenhouse uh, company that markets the peppers and Chip's idea was he wanted to create a new logo for us, which, which we did, and that's what it is. And he wanted to do a, um, a kind of an original art uh, painting on it, and that's really what it is. It's not clear coated or anything. It's just hand painted on the back of the tailgate. Brush strokes and all. Brush strokes and all. Old school. You By chip. By chip. How cool is that? <laughs> now you built this baby uh, to drive and to be dependable. I think you you didn't go 900 horse Merlin. Uh, what'd you put in this one? No, we went much more conservative, and we put a Corvette LS1 mm -hmm. uh, engine in it. Ran runs real great and uh, always reliable. So it uh, looks after us when we want to go somewhere. And you did the reverse opening. Yes. Put on it. Man, that's, I mean, this is just, I mean, anybody could drive this. Including my wife. <laughs> well, then I bet I could too. <laughs> you could too. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't break that one. What do you say we take this one so out for a little spin? We'll do the same. All right, let's go. You bet. Welcome back to My Classic Car. This is very civilized. She goes out with her girlfriend. She thinks uh, she's a big wheel when she drives this thing. <laughs> Hot riding with the girls, right? Yeah. Now, where did this live before it came up here? Uh, Utah. Utah. Yeah. It's all white interior. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about well. that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. everybody, everybody to their own taste, I guess. But, uh, <laughs> We knew we wanted to change it, so. Boy, and it's got its own nice rumble, but it's just, yeah. this, this is really a sweet ride. And actually, it, it, it's not nearly as heavy as the Hudson, right? Right. So it actually kind of moves along okay, you know? It's kind of a warmed up LS1. Mm -hmm. And it's got a very light feel to it. Mm -hmm. Handles real nice. Yeah. I'm digging this. Yeah, this is uh, this is very civilized. You can definitely just yeah, very cruise natural. around town with this, yeah. and not draw a lot of attention except for the looks. Yeah, this one more is about the paint, mm -hmm. and, and just the profile of the truck has been altered significantly. So they're asking questions, but yeah, for whatever reason, this truck kind of melted our hearts a little bit when we first saw it, and it was quite concerned because the front had been built up so much. Yeah, and then, you know what? That doesn't really look like a GMC. And after I talked to Chip, who came to the auction, he says, no, we can change all that. We can bring that right back to where it was. Well, it's easy to drive and for, you know, it's very important to have your wife as part of your hobby, right? Uh, you know, you're kind it, of in trouble if you don't have her as part of the hobby. You can practice it longer and spend more money yeah. on it if you do. Yeah, exactly. that's definitely true. So when she likes something like this, then that's really something I should do. That's why I have that 63 Falcon convertible. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Honey, don't you like this car? It's beautiful, really. <laughs> Oh man, a bright sunny day in British Columbia and two Chip Foos designed hot rod pickup trucks. I'm having a blast. But Don here's got what? Six more Foos cars, right? That's right. Six more Foos cars. I'm definitely coming back north. Check those babies out too. <laughs>